Hello everyone. Today I will be showcasing Harrow with Corinth Prime, Kuva New Core, and Nikana Prime. This is not a how-to guide, but I will give you a general idea about the frame and the weapons. So Harrow's first ability is your crowd control and overshield generator. You're gonna use it to stop enemies and generate extra shields or overshields. Harrow's second ability is your healing ability, but aside from energy, you use all of your shields to increase its duration. Without shields, you can't use this ability, but once you use it, you can use it again to increase the duration with the shields you have. Also, while active, you get extra fire rate and reload speed. Just a little side note, the HP you generate is not a flat amount, it's lifesteal. So, if you know anything about lifesteal in this game... Basically, every hit you land will max HP all allies around you. Harrow's third ability is your energy generator. You sacrifice your energy to get energy per kill for you and your allies, and headshots give you 4 times the energy. Keep in mind that only your kills and generate energy. Harrow's fourth ability is your panic button slash damage buff. It gives you invincibility. After it's done, depending on how much damage you prevented, you get up to 50% additive crit chance and 200% for the headshots so if you had 0% crit chance now you have guaranteed orange crits on headshots so basically you're gonna use your third ability to get energy while your first ability frees the enemies for easy headshots and you will generate HP and energy at all time Playing Harrow is not an easy task, usually Warframes take 2 to minus 2 brain cells to use. As for Harrow, you need about maybe 20 brain cells, which means most of you probably won't use him. This is all fine and dandy, and for some of you might seem freaking amazing, but there is a problem. You don't really need a Harrow in low levels, and in high levels, Harrow ain't gonna survive to do anything. So I took it upon myself to fix this. And oh boy, it works great. Okay, this is my build. I'm using Arcane Tanker and Arcane Guardian, basically all the armor you can get from Arcanes, to get as much armor as possible. The rest is just a typical hero build. This is my Corinth build. If you don't have a Riven, you might want to use this build. But overall, you're going to be using your AoE fire to get rid of Arbitration Drones, Shield, and Trash Mobs, and your main fire to basically kill everything. This is Kuva Nukor. If you take a close look at the crit damage, you might see something interesting. And yeah, basically you're gonna pair that with a 200% crit chance of Harrow's 4 and go to town. And this is Nikana Prime. I mostly use it when I panic. I mean, pressing E doesn't really need brain cells.